Welcome back, everybody. The holidays are right around the corner. And here at News 4 Tucson, we've been making some of our favorite family recipes. Ari Alexander is here now to make one of his. And what do you call this that you're so making? So this is my, uh, my grandma Manya's uh, borscht. And so okay. I got her babushkas in Russian. So babushka Manya's uh, famous borscht. I love it. And what exactly is borscht, for those who don't know? It is Russian beet soup. Okay. And I know that sounds like a lot. Apparently, we were like looking this up the other day. Apparently, people in the U.S. do not like beets. Well, it's, some do, some don't. Right. So yeah. I promise you it's really good. It's a lot. It's very tomato based as well. Okay. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go through just some of the things you need to do. The cool thing about this is that this works for vegetarians and people who also are not vegetarians. Like I'm from the Midwest, so I eat as much meat as possible with every meal. <laughs> yeah. So the first step is you, got, you get uh, some stew meat and you chop it up into little pieces like this. And so you have all these little pieces of, uh, of beef. Kind of bite size. Yeah, all just right. so you have it throughout. And, uh, or you just don't, and then you just continue with, uh, if you want to make it All vegetarian. All the vegetables yep. and everything. Okay. So the next thing, let me check my I have a recipe pulled up here on my phone. After you enter your code, your passcode. Yes, code. after I enter my passcode. All right, <laughs> so the things you're going to need, um, well, it's lots of vegetables. Okay. So it's lots of tomato. We have crushed tomatoes here. That's a big part of it. Um, carrots went somewhere. I don't know. Carrots are in the soup. We got potatoes, which okay. I had to peel with a knife. We don't have a potato peeler in here. Like, I feel like, I feel like my grandma in 1940, whatever. And then uh, lots of onions. So the first steps, you got to peel the potatoes, and you want to cut potatoes into, like, chunks. Okay. So size, I don't know, like this. Like, it's a good, good potato chunk size. All right. So some of that, you're going to throw it in the soup. And then onions, you're going to want to just crush the onions. So... Watch, you know, watch the tears. Right. Uh, so when you say crush, what you mean? You are, like I dice? mean, dice. Yeah, you're gonna, okay. you're gonna dice. I don't know, <laughs> Come I don't on over, Matt. Cook that off, and here so we this go. This is something that we made in my family too. That's right. My All, grandma made borscht. Anyone who is Russian or tangentially Russian <laughs> yes. has had some borscht. Well, uh, where's the sour cream? We always topped ours with sour cream. Oh, what happened to the sour cream? Oh, sour so you cream do have okay. I have sour right, cream. I, pro I don't know what I happened. I know a thing or two about oh, borscht. It's in the fridge. Oh, you Give can't me. walk off camera. All right, well. <laughs> Give me two seconds. He's <laughs> off camera, Allison. So I can, I can uh, you know, you move in. All right, All right I'll stir. I'm back I'm with the sour cream as asked and carrots. All right. Here we go. Now right. it's borscht. Carrots go in and then also uh, cabbage as well in the borscht. So okay, 30 seconds. Now that what we're doing is we're going to, let's serve it. Okay, yeah. perfect. There so you're go. eating it hot. Now borscht can be eaten cold too. Yes. I prefer it hot. That I do too. So now My grandma made you got to garnish and sour cream to taste. Yep. That's the last thing we're doing. Uh, get some, some salt here. Allison, my clout goggles, please. Oh, yes. There we go. Your what? My clout goggles. Oh. You got to salt this right. Naturally. There we go. So we, and then we got a we got a spoon somewhere. There you go. Where's this? Here, add some sour cream. Hold on. If you want the recipe for this, you can find it on our website, kvoa.com. We'll be right back.